Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video shows you how to copy files and folders from your Windows 11 PC to a USB stick or a USB hard drive. Now, first of all, all you need to do is open up File Explorer, which is basically any yellow folder on your screen, like this one down here. Now, if you don't have a yellow folder anywhere on your screen, click on the Start button, okay, and just type Explorer, E-X-P-L-O-R-E-R. -E okay, after a few seconds, under Best Match, File Explorer should appear. Click on that, and then this window will open. And what you need to do is you need to click on this PC, just from the left there. Once you've done that, you'll need to plug in your external hard drive or USB pen drive, and just look around under Device and Drivers here and see what appears, and whatever appears, make note of it, that's very important because that will be your USB hard drive or pen drive and you need to know where to send those documents. Okay, so I've just plugged in my drive and as you can see here, this drive here, D, has uh, appeared. Now yours might be named something differently. Mine's named USB drive and it's got D in brackets, but like I say, yours might be named something differently. Whatever it is named, take note of that because you'll need to know that. You'll need to know where you're gonna put these files. So the next thing I need to do is I need to find the files. Now, no matter what program you've created the files in, they're probably gonna be stored either in documents or on the desktop or in the pictures, music or videos folder. Now, obviously, um, if it's gonna be sort of reports and things like that, or Word documents, spreadsheets, they're gonna be in the documents folder. If it's gonna be music, it's gonna probably be in the music folder, and pictures probably in the pictures folder. And last but not least, videos in the videos folder. And sorry, not forgetting downloads. If there's anything you downloaded from the internet, it's probably gonna be in the downloads folder. So my documents are in the documents folder. So if I go in there and there we go so we've got this costings report now I want to put that on a USB pen drive this same applies to a hard drive so as I say I remembered my drive that appeared was USB drive D so what I need to do is I just need to move my mouse over the costings report click on the right mouse button that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse and then go down to show more options left click once and then go to send to, and there it is. There's my USB drive D. That's what appeared when I plugged in my external hard drive or pen drive under this PC. So I just left click USB drive and a copy of that should have been sent to the USB drive. I can check that by just going to this PC. So left click this PC on the left here, go into USB drive D, that's my external drive. Okay, and I should see there, there you go. I've got Costin's report in there. I've got some other things on the hard drive as well. So I can just ignore those for the time being. But say if I wanted to also copy a folder across, then what I can do is I can just click on Documents there from the left, okay? And I've got this Accounts folder here, which has got quite a bit in it, okay? So it's got accounts from 2019 right up to 2022 so okay so I've just gone in there to have a look at that now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the back button once there because I've actually gone into the folder okay so what I need to do is I need to move my mouse over the folder click on the right mouse button okay and then go down to show more options left click once go up to send to and then across and find the USB drive that appeared when I plugged my uh, stick in or my hard drive in under this PC and that was USB drive D for me. As I say, it might be different for you. It probably will be different for you because every single pen drive or hard drive is virtually named different. So okay, I'm gonna left click on that and now that's gonna send those across. Sometimes you'll get a, a dialog box come up on the screen which will show you the status of, uh, of the files being copied across. Uh, the, mine hasn't come up because the files are quite small files, but now if I go back into this PC here, double click on USB drive D, I should see there's a yellow folder there, yep, called accounts, and if I click on that, there's my accounts in there. Now at the moment, I've actually copied 
these to the uh, pen drive, which means if I go back in documents, the originals are still in my documents folder, so they haven't been deleted from the PC, which is pretty good because obviously if I pulled the pen drive out of the computer and it corrupted or I lost it or it broke, then uh, you know I'd be in trouble. So I've got copies still left on my computer and uh, I've got a copy as well on my pen drive or my hard drive. So this is a good way to back up your important work as well. So there you go, that guide showed you how to copy files and folders to a USB stick or external hard drive from Windows 11. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.